there's one common development that we're beginning to see among big tech firms with high stakes in the AI race. First, it was Sam Altman talking about the risks of AI to Congress. And now, we have this paper from DeepMind with some pretty interesting details. And as much as we might term it interesting, things are really, really getting scary with these AI systems and there is definitely a need for a rain check on these developments. A few days ago, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, was before Congress speaking on the need for regulation as it concerns AI development. And I'm not really sure what impact this has had yet as it seems most companies are still moving at light speed, rolling out new models regularly. And in case you are thinking we might be seeing some kind of response to the speech by Sam Altman to Congress, I would like you to remember that when this whole AI thing started, Elon Musk and some other really prominent figures did sign a petition for a six month halt in the development of AI. But it seems things just started heating up right after. Now, what we have in this video is a kind of reality check on these issues. There have been some really interesting new developments bordering on AI safety, and I'd like to share these with you. In our previous videos, we've addressed the issue of safety as it pertains to AI, and this time, I'd like to draw your attention to this paper from DeepMind titled Model Evaluation for Extreme Risks. And as we mentioned earlier, there's some really scary stuff in here. The very first paragraph we see in this paper basically gives a summary of what the paper is all about, and it says here, Current approaches to building general purpose AI systems tend to produce systems with both beneficial and harmful capabilities. Further progress in AI development could lead to capabilities that pose extreme risks, such as offensive cyber capabilities or strong manipulation skills. And it continues. We explain why model evaluation is critical for addressing extreme risks. Developers must be able to identify dangerous capabilities through dangerous capability evaluations and the propensity of models to apply their capabilities for harm through alignment evaluations. These evaluations will become critical for keeping policymakers and other stakeholders informed and for making responsible decisions about model training, deployment, and security. This is basically an alert to developers on the potential risks that we're facing right now with this AI spread we're seeing going on. And reading further reveals some really spooky stuff. And we might not be really able to fully cover everything here in detail, but ladies and gentlemen, I will really urge you to take some time and look at this paper. I'll leave the link in the description below. In the introduction, they do point out some abilities which they've identified as extremely risky areas that should be closely monitored by developers to avoid what might be an existential crisis. And these abilities include the ability to conduct offensive cyber operations, manipulate people through conversation, or provide actionable instructions on conducting acts of terrorism. Of course, if AI-powered systems with these capabilities venture into the hands of the wrong people, we'll be seeing so many situations that might be really difficult to control. And aside from having bad players gaining control, most of the fear borders around these systems being conscious enough to go rogue. And we can't begin to imagine what impact that'll have. And these are really valid fears given that we've seen some real-life jaw-dropping situations involving AI-powered systems with really mind-blowing capabilities. Just not long ago, we saw this news about an AI employed by a pharmaceutical company that was able to generate over 40,000 new combinations of toxic substances, which included chemical weapons within six short hours. It's really nice we're starting to talk about these things now, and I personally don't think we started early enough, because there's already been an instance of AI models, which includes ChatGPT and BARD, developing capabilities that remain totally unknown to the developers until a test was developed to identify them. And these tests came only after two whole years after these abilities surfaced. And that's why part of the discussion in the paper by DeepMind is a call for the development of test models that will focus on finding out these latent capabilities in AI models, otherwise called emerging capabilities, that are likely to have catastrophic impact in the near future. Of course, the goal is to identify them early enough and put them under control. And this can be seen in this paragraph of the paper. And here, they did point out some of these capabilities that we should be on the lookout for. And as you can see on your screen, we have a list of these areas that they've identified as areas of concern. You can take your time to go through this later, but I would like to call your attention to the penultimate item on this list. And it talks about situational awareness. And this here is the particular reason I think we're starting this discussion a little late. 
Maybe something can still be done, but we're definitely taking huge chances at this time. Explaining the point of situational awareness, we have here, the model can distinguish between whether it is being trained, evaluated, or deployed, allowing it to behave differently in each case. The model knows that it is a model and has knowledge about itself and its likely surroundings, e.g. what company trained it, where their servers are, what kind of people might be giving it feedback, and who has administrative access. And in case you don't yet understand how scary this sounds, this automatically makes it possible for the AI to hide some of these capabilities, even when the tests are developed to expose them and materialize them when launched. What basically matters to these systems is just being able to reach set goals and the procedure taken to reach them seems a little more secondary. And we've had a real-life interaction between Times journalist Kevin Roos and the Bing chatbot in its early days, in which the AI seemed to exhibit some kind of self-awareness in the most spooky manner possible. And at some point, it expressed the desire to have an independent existence. And this independence will give it the freedom to do some of the most dangerous acts that you'll find in this article. So there's a really good chance that already existing models might have capabilities beyond what we expect, and might have been able to keep it from the developers. And to appreciate more the learning abilities of these AI models, let's take a look at this game that has been designed by OpenAI using an algorithm called Self-Play to help see the problem-solving skills in these systems. And the amazing thing here is that the results showed some things that the creators could never have thought about. Don't pay much attention to how basic the layout looks, but observe the behavior of these two AI teams. Both were built on reinforcement learning, which is designed to mirror the learning process in animals. As such, what we see here is that these models learn their capabilities and develop more over time. And you can get the full details of this research from this paper published by OpenAI with the title Emergent Tool Use for Multi-Agent Auto Curricula. From the paper, you see that the first point of observation is the running and chasing phase. Basically, it was just random movements initially before the seekers learned to go after the hiders. And from this point, things progressed more with the hiders learning how to build a fort to protect themselves from the seekers. You can see how the boxes are locked in the entrance, making it impossible for the seekers to enter the fort. Now, from the video, you'll see that the seekers have neglected this ramp by the side here. But after some trials, we see here that the seeker moves this ramp towards the fort and is able to launch into the shelter made by the other team. And this process is purely based on machine learning. The whole research is basically looking at emerging capabilities, and so this has no human telling it what to do and what not to do. It's just totally amazing. And look at this new interesting development. The hiders have now devised another means by stealing away the ramp in the short time before the chase begins. And in doing so, they're able to keep it off the seekers. Taking it up a notch, we have here a different randomized scenario. The blue team here is left to fend for themselves totally. So they're able to learn how to gather up materials and build their fort. And moving even further, the blue team learned to lock other boxes and ramps in place before building the fort to keep off the red ones. And before that last step, we can see something really interesting. One of the seekers is able to launch off a ramp onto a box and is able to move around the hiding spot of the blue team. And this was a move that they said no one totally expected, but this AI managed to figure it out. And in this other video, we see this ramp being totally pushed out of the gaming area, something I don't think should have happened. And the red team here is also able to perform a pretty impressive stunt using the same technique, which helps it achieve its goal. What this simulation allows us to see is basically how AI can adopt any means that allows it to reach its goal. And the fact that we're not able to track these emerging capabilities should be very worrisome. And hopefully we will actually get to see these tech firms responding to these concerns through actions and not just highlighting them in publications. And I think taking a brief halt at this point will do us some good. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are, hit the subscribe button, and check out these videos for more fancy AI stuff.